Mmm. God damn, Jimmy. This some serious going maze It goes A's for ambition. Be what I want to be. See past the situation that's in front of me. What is up, you guys? It's Joseph Arning. Welcome to the channel, or welcome back. If this is your first time here, then I'm just letting you know now, this video is going to be a little bit different from what I usually do. Actually, not that different. I just haven't done a video like this in so long, so it's like, um, what? What are you doing? But, as you may have heard, the new Adidas Prada collab is going to be coming out soon, and it's going to be a long-term collaboration between the two so it's not like one sneaker two sneaker three sneakers we could potentially see a whole rollout of sneakers throughout the years that are going to come out and i'm really excited about it they haven't released any images yet so i thought it'd be cool to like do my own mock-up because i've seen a couple others do some and they're pretty tight like i think that the mock-ups i've seen online are super cool i don't know about you guys but yeah so for today's video we're gonna go into photoshop do a little bit of splicing and dicing and editing and come up with my own mock-up as well as talk about what this collaboration means in terms of sneaker culture in terms of like consumer culture in terms of fashion just the whole scope of what they're doing by having this kind of collab okay let's get started i'm gonna open up photoshop uh, okay. here we have the prada sneaker and the adidas sneaker and we're gonna combine the two to make the perfect marriage so by the way guys i've been doing this a long time so like that's how i can focus and like talk at the same time not to like confuse you but basically adidas and prada have adidas and prada sailing that has to be clear it's a prada sailing not just prada have decided that they're gonna collab on a new series of sneakers as i said earlier but the crazy thing is this is going to be a long-term collaboration so they want to basically combine their both of their heritage of like the Prada sailing situation as well as the Adidas like crazy tech crazy sneaker crazy like next-gen sportswear culture and release collections based on that what is crazy about this is it's a luxury faction house which Traditionally, I can be very closed off, very within their self. Like, do they do their own thing? They release their own collections. They have their own designers, and that's just how they operate. Combining with a sportswear brand, which has gained notoriety in their design department thanks to Kanye West and just their own Jeremy Scott as well, and just their own like releases of sneakers. But this is going to be even more interesting because it's like, how are you going to marry these two, and like, how are you going to? create something that will not only satisfy and fulfill the ideas that the average adidas customer would care about which would be like younger people people who are into streetwear people who are into fashion people and also like the older prada um customer who has all this money to buy all the crazy exotic cool stuff that they want and not only that you have to keep it within a price point that is aspirational and I don't want to say affordable because most sneakers that are really Adidas releases that are like cool and interesting are not even affordable in the first place. But like nowadays, three hundred dollars for a sneaker is not as much as like it just doesn't hold the same weight as it used to. Like it, now, if you're paying for like a premium sneaker, you're paying four four fifty plus. Like that's just like how it is nowadays. And they made it super eerie and ominous by stating that the journey begins soon. Like, what does that mean? I don't know, but that's just what they're saying. And I think this is going to be an even bigger opening into, like, what we can see as far as collabs, as far as sneakers. And uh, as many of you know, Adidas is not afraid of an influencer collab. They will call up an influencer to push their sneaker anytime they can. Like, I don't know how many times I have to, like, see Kylie Jenner wear a pair of Adidas sneakers all over Instagram. But that's just what they do. And I think that they could be getting Prada onto that. I know a lot of people are saying things like, oh, the influencer bubble's bursting. Like, influencers are going away. Like, no, I people don't realize we barely, barely scratched the surface of what's possible between an influencer and brand collab. Like, these little posts on Instagram for like a good 50K are not, it's just not what's possible. 
like we could see whole clothing lines we could see collections we could see influencers becoming creative directors of these brands that we aspire to like afford and look up to so much but the thing is it's like everyone that's assuming the bubble's bursting isn't aware of like what modern marketing is nowadays if you go into a business 101 course they will tell you that the new wave is like digital marketing you can see all these storefront places closing down because they haven't mastered their digital marketing strategy or they haven't mastered the ability to bring their product from their storefront to social media an example fashion nova fashion nova is was the number one brand last year like no, not over louis over off-white over yeezy like they outdid themselves solely because they literally shoved their branding strategy down our throats to the point where we were tired of it like i i don't know how many times i have to see a fashion nova post and they realized that they couldn't just keep their branding in one specific spot so instead of just picking out influencers and like sending the product and being like oh buy my stuff they were on meme pages they still are they still are they're still there and i i hate it they're on meme pages they're on um facebook pages they're on every influencer who follows instagram they're everywhere they're on tiktok now i'm pretty sure like you couldn't leave tiktok alone like come on it's just their strategy of just guerrilla aggressive beat them down until they buy your stuff works and if a lot of companies now want to make it into our new gen z um heavy heavy marketing social media obsessed world they're gonna have to follow a few um traits that companies like fashion nova do and i see that adidas might be looking to do the same thing all right i think i'm gonna keep adding this green to the um i want to add extra green or i think i want to do green or orange because it would just be super cool to have like a super pop of neon because as we know adidas does not is not afraid of color they will put color on everything anything if they, you give them the chance like sometimes it's a bit too much and i'm like will i ever wear that in public no it doesn't look cool yeah but yeah this collab i think will say a lot about where the direction we're going into with influencer marketing and the reason why influencer marketing works so well is because nowadays you cannot name someone who watches tv religiously you can't well not at least in my age group like i don't know about like older people but in my age group specifically people aren't sitting down to watch tv people aren't sitting down to like learn more about their favorite actors and actresses unless they're like on netflix or like hulu or something like that they just not putting in that kind of effort but with like an influencer you could watch a video of theirs and know like more about them than you know about your best friends in like 10 minutes and that kind of power that kind of um trust that you build with somebody or your community is something that these companies just don't have the ability to do yet and they don't understand how it's possible they're like how are these literal children like kids younger than me like 12 13 14 year olds creating a brand and power that's so um polarizing that it attracts millions of people and it makes millions of people buy their products like whether you realize it or not love them hate them can't stand them think that they don't deserve their money whatever they push product and that's what companies want they want product pushed because if you have an amazing product sitting there that's super well renowned everyone loves it but nobody knows about it what's the point like what's what's the point of having a message if nobody's hearing it like it's just realizing now that respectability aside politics aside concepts that we've created for what's deserving of attention and who deserves to be defined as art and what deserves to be called art overall companies are realizing it's not it's time to stop caring like it's time to stop caring what people think it's time to stop caring about what's cool and what's not it's time to start realizing what pushes sales social media pushes sales kids push sales things that matter to people like their favorite influencer push sales so if you want to push sales you better get on board to that trend which is weird because 10 years ago that wasn't even a thing but anyway i don't know about the soul on this one i think i want to do like an extra like it's looking too prada influence like we're gonna have to like make it a little bit more basic because the average adidas consumer isn't isn't down for like a weird like moon 
moon trekking sneaker. Maybe they are, who knows? But I think that that might be another thing that we might have to realize is gonna be a big part of the collab. As far as design, nowadays it's all about doing the most. Like everyone's doing the most. Virgil Abloh has a collection with, what is it? Ikea, like I, who does that? It's, it's just all about doing the most nowadays. Runway shows look like they are literally from another planet. So, who knows? This design could be the craziest series of sneakers we've ever seen in our lives. Like, I remember how I felt when I first saw Yeezys and I was like, uh, who's gonna buy that? Like, I definitely did, wasn't brave enough in like middle school to ever wear anything they put out. But, as time goes on, these bizarre extreme designs that we see as extreme become less and less extreme and they become more normal. Like, remember how you first felt when you saw the like Balenciaga Triple S sneaker? You were like, what? What is that? Like, why is that a thing? But as time went on, you got more comfortable and you warmed up to it and it just became like a standard for everybody to have like a weird crackhead sneaker in their arsenal. But yeah, I think that as far as design, this collection's gonna be super cool. I wanna see everything they have to put out, even if I can't afford it. Just the idea of like, seeing stuff like that come to fruition is super cool, and like seeing how these two brands, who really have nothing to do with each other, can put together a product that will be cool or interesting. So yeah, I'm super intrigued, and I hope that it's a good collaboration, because if it doesn't, if it bombs, then maybe companies that are bigger or luxury fashion houses will be less apprehensive to like expand and like collaborate with different kinds of companies or influencers or whatever. So yeah, I I think it's going to be cool and I'm excited for what's to come. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, like you might you might as well subscribe. You don't love them. G is past go with ignite the cash flow when it's just put your heart in whatever's your last hope.